Sprata, day 10, dinner. I'm gonna make it with you guys. <laughs> I figured maybe this would be a good example of how quick these meals are to make. Um, so today was day 10. It started off with a fresh fruit plate, and then for lunch it was a sweet potato and roasted red pepper bisque with a Greek salad and Greek dressing. I did not do Greek salad, I just stuck with the micro green salad and I didn't do the Greek dressing, I just did liquid aminos. Um, and so for dinner it said a quinoa lentil pilaf and one and a half cups of steamed broccoli with lemon juice and olive oil. So I looked in the recipe section at the quinoa lentil pilaf and it didn't I don't feel like cooking. <laughs> so there was a recipe next to it for quinoa salad, which is served cold. And I've been out in the sun a lot today, so I think cooling my body off is a way smarter plan. I had a headache this afternoon, which is a sign of too much heat and inflammation. So I'm gonna go with the quinoa salad. I didn't have any snack today, and I did a lot of walking. So I'm gonna add an avocado to this recipe. So it's just really quick. I already have the quinoa like all cooked. So that's all that's in this bowl right now. It needs a tablespoon of olive oil. Not that much. It needs a tablespoon of lemon juice. Which generally, I find a tablespoon is about half a lemon. Um, I've actually measured it out and squeezed it into a measuring cup and then into tablespoons. And it tends to turn out that way. So you can just squeeze half a lemon in. And then the next, it says half a medium tomato. I didn't buy medium tomatoes. I bought um, cherry tomatoes. So I just grabbed like a little handful of them. I figured that's about a tomato size. <laughs> and I'm just gonna cut them in half. And I know my mom hates watching left-handed people use knives, especially me, so pardon <laughs> my cutting skills. And then just put those in. Um, the Bragg amino acids. I found these cool ones down here. And I found this in Florida at Whole Foods, and I'd never seen it before in Massachusetts, but it's actually bottled in Vermont, so I'm sure it's in all the Whole Foods, but it's amino acids that have flavorings to them. So this is a ginger lime amino acid. So I'm just gonna kind of drizzle a little bit, not a lot. And then the tomatoes in, cucumber, I forgot. <laughs> so hold on. Um, so this is half a cucumber. So I'm just gonna wash this off real quick. Everything else is washed. And then half a medium cucumber, peeled and diced. Yeah, this has wax on it, so it should be peeled. <laughs> you can kind of feel on your veggies when they have wax on them. Um, but I don't know where a vegetable peeler is in this house, so I'm just gonna do the lazy, really quick, wasteful way of peeling the cucumber. <laughs> and then there's just a couple more ingredients. It's just Kalamata olives, which I don't like, so those aren't going in. And then parsley and mint. And what you're supposed to do with the salad is leave it in the refrigerator for a couple hours so it can all sit and marinate the flavors together. But I'm just gonna let it sit maybe another 20 minutes and then I'll eat it. I don't, I don't need the full flavor effect. <laughs> and then just throw the cucumber in. And then I pulled out I didn't have parsley, so I'm going to use cilantro and mint for a little bit of a different flavor profile. And it says about two tablespoons of the parsley and one tablespoon of the mint, really finely chopped. So I'm just taking off what looks like about a tablespoon. And then the cilantro, I'll just kind of take a little pinch from this bunch. And with the cilantro, the, th the stems are so thin that you can really just 
chop them in right with the leaves if you're like me and just like to be quick. I really don't notice the difference, especially when it's chopped really fine. Um, and mint is very cooling, so it's always good if you've been out in the sun or after intense exercise, mint will cool you down. And cilantro is a natural um, heavy metal detoxifier, so cilantro is always good to, we get heavy metals every day. So for the one and a half cups of steamed broccoli, this is about one and a half, it's like a heaping cup of broccoli. So I just, it's only four crowns. I don't have the patience to cook this little amount. <laughs> so I'm gonna eat it raw and just really cut it fine. Um, and I probably won't use all of the stems, just a little bit of stem. My dad used to tell me that these are trees filled with monkeys. So when I was little, I didn't eat the tops of my broccoli. I only ate the stems <laughs> because the analogy backfired on him in a big way. <laughs> so with that, it's easier to just scrape it in. And generally, you should always use the back of your knife so you're not delving the blade. And then I just have a few sprouts. So sprouts are really good because they're actually living. So they have a lot of enzymes in them that your stomach can digest really easily and it gives you energy boost. So when you eat raw living foods, it actually gives you energy. Where when you eat cooked foods, depending who you are, you may feel like rather drained afterwards. Um, I'm just gonna slice these a little. And then the other ones I got were mustard microgreens, which I really like because the just that little bit of mustard adds a nice touch to any dish. And then the last thing is the avocado, which the recipe didn't call for, but I'm going to add for a little fat in there. Healthy fat. And I just cut my avocado in half and then kind of dice it into squares and then pop it out and I am going to use the whole avocado because I didn't have any kind of snack today and I feel like calories have been a little light. The, um, the soup at lunch was funny, it's super easy to make, it's just a roasted red pepper and a sweet potato that you boil for like five minutes and then you throw it all in the blender with some spices and a little bit of water, or vegetable broth. And um, it was amazing because it was actually so filling that I couldn't eat the salad. <laughs> so I had to wait about an hour at least to eat the salad. So it kind of felt like the salad was my snack a little bit later. Um, I'm just gonna mix it all up. And like it's so much food <laughs> I think that's like the funniest part about when people complain about dieting and like think they're gonna be hungry I'm like no when you eat clean the, the volume of food you have to eat in order to get enough calories is so much different okay, I'm just gonna pour this into my eating bowl and then I'll show you what it looks like now this isn't the best setup to really see what I'm doing, but I thought if I'm going to talk to you, I might as well educate, right? <laughs> Alright, so it's a massive bowl. <laughs> this will take me a while to eat. And then that's what it looks like. It's just kind of like a quinoa tabbouleh salad. Um, so I'm just going to sit it in the fridge. Let it settle and soak up all those flavors. When you let it sit in the fridge for a while, it's basically kind of like, you know, the mint actually like infuses into the quinoa better. The cilantro will, the lemon juice has time to kind of take that acidic acid and break down some of the elements and add a little bit more flavor. So I'll try to be patient and leave it for a little while, but it's time for dinner. <laughs> 
So that's all for day 10. There wasn't much new, nothing crazy going on. Yes, sun and salad. <laughs> and lots of alligators today, so it was a fun day. But um, I will see you here tomorrow for day 11. <laughs> Good night.